I've been alone for what seems like forever. Try to hold it together, but I'm losing my grip. I need Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim. Welcome back to my channel. If you are already subscribed and if not and you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. The content that I usually make is cleaning and decluttering. And if you want to see some of my videos, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell and you'll see any future videos that are coming up. And I also do have a bunch of videos that I have done in the past as well. So I hope you would consider subscribing. And in today's video, I'm just going through the bottom of my kitchen cabinet today. It's a small spot that I just wanted to get decluttered, throw away stuff that I'm not using, and try and reorganize it. Because obviously it was a mess and what I had going wasn't working completely for me. There is some stuff that I still use in here. Uh, everything I have that I'm using is from the Dollar Tree. So this kind of reorganization cost me under $5. So let's get into it. Okay, so I got everything cleaned out. Now I'm just going to kind of sweep up the bottom of the cabinet here. I didn't think about it until I was doing this. I should have probably grabbed some shelf liner to make that a little nicer in the bottom. And here's a friendly reminder, check your fire extinguishers. I know in one of my other videos I said mine was needing to be replaced, so I did replace that. So check your fire extinguishers, make sure it's all good to go. So now I'm just going to start putting back some of my stuff. All of the stuff that is overflow, I'm just going to put back here or even stuff that I don't use on a daily basis, I'm going to put in the back of the sink here. And then I'm going to work with these two new bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. They have these little flip outs so they're easier to stack one on top of the other. And at a buck 25, they're working for this space. I can't justify spending a ton of money on like the clear organizers. I love them. They look so pretty when stuff is in and organized in them. I just can't justify spending that much money. I'm sorry. So I'll stick with my Dollar Tree stuff and try and make that work with me. I'm also going through and seeing stuff that I don't use anymore. Like those sponges with the yellow tops. I don't gravitate towards those sponges. I go for my dish sponges and then my magic eraser stuff and then I have a few of my microfiber cloths that I just want to get put into this other bin and get it all organized. Okay, so this pink bin that I have here, that's gonna be for all stuff that I go to every day to use. I have my spray away glass cleaner that I love. I do like the Dollar Tree dupe of that. That's in the back, cause that's still a full can. And then, like I said, stuff that I go to every day just to wipe down tables and countertops. And then this all started. Now this is gonna be a little backwards cause I did the declutter part first and it was all because I couldn't find my steel scrubber for my baking sheet. I wanted to, and I've needed to, scrub off this baking sheet for so long, but I couldn't find it and I knew I had them in here. So that's where this all started. And then if you guys don't know, these are also from the Dollar Tree. I like these a little better in my sink than the regular like catch, uh, what is that, like a drain kind of 
cat like the catch-all to get like any kind of food or anything they're really good at a dollar a piece and then there's a smaller one that you can use for your smaller sinks i like to use mine for the sink in the laundry room so it catches all the lint from my washer but yeah those are pretty good so here is the finished product of this cabinet so it's working so far it's been a couple days now but i'm getting rid of a lot of stuff too that i just don't use anymore or that stuff that can be stored away somewhere else so that it's not just a mess underneath the cabinet here So some of this stuff is just finding where it belongs. For instance, the bathtub scrubber doesn't belong under the kitchen sink. It should be under the bathroom sink, which that's gonna be the next place that I tackle. Not today, but it will be on my list of stuff to tackle. I'm still working on my bedroom, which, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. That, it was video, I think two weeks ago, where I'm doing a major declutter of my, bath, of my bedroom, and wow, there is a lot of stuff in there. But I'm almost finished getting all of this stuff either put away or thrown away. I'm going to see if my mom wants a couple of the cleaners. I have a lilac cleaner. I don't really care for the smell, but I know she would. Now I'm going to move on to doing a little bit of a kitchen cleanup. Like I said, this video is a little backwards and it's only because the baking sheet that I wanted to clean to like get a really good scrub on, I couldn't find the scrubber. So it kind of, I went down this like rabbit hole of, all right, I got to find the scrubber so I got to declutter under the sink and then I can finish getting the kitchen cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get some dishes done. Change a bit in my heart. Your words have never been wrong. You are my own safety zone. You're solid like a granite stone. So tonight's cleanup actually isn't too bad. We had what we call chicken cheesesteaks and it's basically seasoned chicken that you do pepperoni and provolone on a roll and then you do like a hot hoagie spread over top of it. Really good, pretty easy. Um, I used paper plates, which that's like a, I don't know, kind of a bittersweet for me because you know, using the paper plates, I don't have a ton of dishes to do, but I hate spending money on the paper plates because if there's anything that you're going to learn from my channel is that I am freaking frugal. <laughs> like I am so, so cheap. I will not, I hate to buy stuff I don't have to really. And paper plates is one of those things where I don't necessarily need them. It's a convenience and it does make it a lot easier. But aside from that, if you guys would like to see like a grocery haul, which I think I'm going to record that later today because I did hit the food store today. I hit Sam's Club, Walmart, and Aldi's and did like a big shopping order. But if you guys want to see like a grocery haul and then what my meal plan will be, because I try to make stuff like last through the week. For instance, this week I'm going to make meatballs. And then what I'll do is I'll make like an extra sauce with the meatballs, but then I'll use that sauce to make lasagna roll-ups later on in the week so that I can try and get, honestly, my grocery bill, like get it to stretch further because it was a little bit of a shock what I spent at the grocery store, at the three stores today. Like I, 
I still can't believe like, wow. Now my Sam's Club run, I will say I only do that once a month. So that wasn't, not that it wasn't bad, but if I'm only doing that once a month, I'm like, okay, I can kind of justify that. But oh my God, my Walmart order was, I was a bit shocked. There was a few things that I did get, like as far as like a face cream and stuff like that, but wow. So you know, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a grocery haul and then kind of like a, a meal plan. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to. Doing what we need to do. Staying up all night. Everything is all right. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I want to be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. I have to say, if you guys find that sink strainer at the dollar store, I highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. They're like $1.99 on Amazon. I was finding that we were having a plumber come out like every six months to sneak through our drains because the other strainer was just letting big particles of food through it. So if you do find them, they're definitely worth the money at the dollar store. A little more expensive on Amazon, but I can link them down below if you'd like. And that nifty little thing there, that was like this mock drawer that I have that like kind of halfway pulls down. And I like to keep some of my sponges and my gloves and stuff in there. But now we're going to move on to just rinsing out my sink. I did a little squirt of bleach just to get everything cleaned up. And I'm going to water my son's snake plant. He always forgets to water this thing. So I bring it out here and water it. And then I'm going to move on to just cleaning up the countertops. Just the two of us and we could stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to. Doing what we need to do. Staying up all night. Everything is all right. So now I'm just going to move right down the line and work on the stove, just really doing a quick cleanup of it. I'm not going to do a deep clean and like take off any grates or anything. I'm just going to wipe everything down because there was a little bit of splatter from the chicken being sauteed. So we're going to do that next. And one of the tips I have is if you want to get your streak free clean on your stove is bring a dry paper towel behind what you're using to wipe it down like I usually do a wet paper towel with a little bit of dish soap and then I'll follow with a dry paper towel and that way any of the streaking that you would normally see would kind of go away I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you'll see any upcoming videos I do have a lot of decluttering that I'm doing I am going through the house and just trying to get everything decluttered and like I said in my last video trying to make my house work for me instead of getting stuff like I was going to buy a new kind of dresser like thing for my bedroom because I just don't have enough room for what I have and I said no I need to make my house work for me and just start getting rid of stuff so if you do want to see a bunch of decluttering I will link the playlist above and down below so that you guys can maybe binge watch a little bit of a decluttering and I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!